Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay, we're going to get straight into it. Chinese state media says U.S. protests show shame and disgrace of politicians and chaotic values. Chinese state media appeared to mock the U.S. government while arguing that protests spreading across the country throw the shame and disgrace of lawmakers as well as chaotic values. The Global Times, an English language newspaper published by the ruling Chinese Communist Party, shared an editorial titled Beautiful Sight. <laughs> He's talking about the uh, riots. Uh, shall I get beautiful sight? He stands from. Hong Kong to U.S. on Sunday. The article compares the demonstrations in Hong Kong to those taking place across the U.S., suggesting American leaders were hypocritical to criticize Beijing's efforts to crack down on protests in the special administrative region. The U.S. has long been in a country with severe racial discrimination with its various powers are creating inequalities. Any single spark can start a prairie fire, the editorial says. What are they both wrong? I mean, look at how the U.S. treat its black folk, and look at how the Chinese been cheating, treating the Africans. You know, woe, woe, woe onto both of them, Shalakia. Drawing a parallel to the large demonstrations in Hong Kong by pro-democracy advocates, which have been backed by the U.S. government, the article suggested that the American leaders hadn't expected mass protests at home as well. These are just the protesters. And remember, all this is happening around the time of Pentecost. All praises. But the U.S. government and Congress, as well as the U.K., simply lent a helping hand to violent demonstrators in Hong Kong, which had nothing to do with their initial objectives and praised them as a beautiful sight to behold. Obviously, they didn't expect such a beautiful sight to expand so fast that it could be seen now from their own windows, the article said, which is true. All right, let me skip past all that. What well, follows of the U.S. sit used to direct such plays should be the China and countries who internal affairs the U.S. have interfered in, release statements and support the revolt of the American people. Now they call them the revolt because Antifa and all these other agent provocateurs, you know, mainly Edom and other nationalities have been just being violent in the protest. You really haven't been seeing Jake's being violent in the protest. They trying to do the peaceful protest and whole cases of bricks and I don't know if anybody know a, 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 a pallet of bricks is like two or three thousand pounds. Jake's ain't dragging no pallets of bricks around in their trucks. Someone with a lot of money had to get them bricks dropped off. Okay. Alright, I'm going to keep going. The revolt of the American people called on the U.S. government to engage in serious dialogue and negotiations with the protesters and urged the U.S. government to exercise restraint in trying to restore order and continue. The protests in the U.S. are like a mirror that reflects the shame and disgrace of U.S. politicians as well as the deep-rooted political dysfunction and chaotic values in the U.S., Newsweek has reached out to the State Department and the Chinese Embassy in Washington, D.C. for comment. Protests have spread to cities across the U.S. following the death of George Floyd. And they said, um, maybe someone can correct me, in um, Kentucky, I think like seven people got murdered or shot. Yeah, that's uh, what's floating around on the um, circuits right now. The death of George Floyd, a black man, after he was detained by police in Minneapolis last Monday. A video of the incident went viral, showing white officer Derek Chauvin pinning his knee on Floyd's neck for nearly nine minutes. Floyd repeatedly yells, I cannot breathe, as onlookers raised concerns and urged the officer to stop. Chauvin and three other officers involved in the incident were later fired by Minneapolis Police Department. I don't know if anybody uh, heard um, the Atlanta man. She fired um, two cops yesterday immediately. 
it, it looked like both of them was black. See, Jay can't catch a brick regardless. Them curses gonna follow you regardless. She fired them immediately because they dragged two students out of um, their cars because they went past the curfew. Chauvin has also been charged with murder while many lawmakers and activists calling for charges to be filed against the officers involved as well. China's criticism of the U.S. comes after the Trump administration has condemned China for putting forward a new national security law for Hong Kong, which would significantly curb the relative freedoms and liberties the special administrative region's citizens have enjoyed under the one country, two system policy. Hong Kong, a former British colony, was transferred back to Beijing's control under the 1997 agreement that aimed to protect the region's freedom and preserve its autonomy. As a response to China's new national security law, the Trump administration canceled Hong Kong's special trade status and is expected to implement a series of new sanctions on some Chinese officials. Yeah, and all this is going to do is going to cause more tensions. Um, China just tested a new scramjet. Um, I think it's a scramjet missile that they're saying hypersonic missiles can't even detect it. You know, anti-missiles can't detect it. So, you know, as all this is going on, all this violence is going on, you know, in the back scenes, China, Russia is making moves. To me, it was an omen that Iran said the world should come against racism and the fact that people are treating black people bad because I don't know if the Iranian president realizes um, when you're stamping out racism, you mean just you want to stamp out Edom. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what that means. You want to stamp out evil E because, you know, who can make straight what the most high made crooked? You know, so there's no way around that. You know, that's the only way you're going to get, with a, get rid of racism is to get rid of the lung disease. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said last week that no reasonable person can assert today that Hong Kong maintains a high degree of autonomy from China given facts on the ground. Alright, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get into these scriptures. Job 15.34 For the congregation of the hypocrites because this is very hypocritical for them to keep talking about what everyone else around the world is doing. The hit is the U.S. can't even fix their own problems in their own backyard. Job fifteen thirty four for the congregation of the hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. Job thirty six thirteen, but the hypocrites. Heap up wrath, they cry not when he bindeth them. Anyway. That's it. On to the next one. Shalom.